say to other people and what you say to yourself. And weed out any fear-based language unless it serves you, such as, watch out for that cement truck. <laughs> Whenever you slip into using fear-based language with yourself or others, upgrade it immediately. Begin to notice how people around you use the language and ask yourself what class of consciousness it falls into. Becoming aware of what causes fear-based thinking is the first step to world-class consciousness. Good luck with your assignment, and I'll see you next time on the Mental Toughness Secrets of Champions. Welcome to Mental Toughness Secrets of Champions. I'm your Mental Toughness Coach, Steve Siebold. Today I want to give you the magic mental toughness formula. It's a test that every potential champion must pass. For years, I wondered why some people who hear the mental toughness message go on to world-class success while others never move out of mediocre, middle-class mindset. It baffled me until one beautiful summer day in Minnesota. Here's the story. I was visiting my mentor, the great Larry Wilson, at his estate on Lake Minnetonka. I told Larry about my dilemma and how I'd been searching for a formula that people could follow to ensure they could use mental toughness as their springboard to world-class results. Now, before I go any farther, let me give you an idea of who Larry Wilson is. He's the genius of the personal development movement and a mad scientist rolled all into one. Remember Grandpa Munster on the Munsters TV show? Larry's a lot like Grandpa Munster. <laughs> he's not as old, but he's a lot like him. <laughs> he's an idea man that comes up with solutions no one's ever thought of before. So Larry says to me, I've got it. I've got it. I've got your mental toughness formula. Here it is. It's D plus V plus P must be greater than C. Ha! Huh, that's it. And I said, Larry, what the heck are you talking about? And he said, think about it. It makes perfect sense. The D stands for dissatisfaction. A person has to be somewhat dissatisfied in some area of their life if they're going to be motivated to change, right? The V stands for vision. The person must have a crystal clear vision of where he or she wants to go. The P stands for process. In other words, the performer has to be sufficiently equipped with enough mental toughness tools to be able to hang in there long enough to achieve world-class results. These three things added together, dissatisfaction plus vision plus process, must be greater than C, which stands for cost, which means the price he or she will have to pay to make their vision a reality. And that formula Larry came with on that summer day in Minneapolis has helped people all over the world. Here's a critical thinking question for you. Do you qualify for the formula? Are you somewhat dissatisfied with any aspect of your life? Do you have an emotionally charged vision so compelling and clearly defined that it gives you goosebumps just thinking about it? Do you know the mental toughness tools that champions use to keep themselves strong during rocky times? I can supply you with that one. And what about cost? Are you willing to pay the price to make your vision a reality? If the answer is yes, you have a shot at world-class results. No guarantees but you have a shot. And I promise you that people far less educated and talented than you have made it. If you use the mental toughness secrets of champions, you are destined for greatness. Let's go through the mental toughness formula and I'll give you the action steps you'll need to take to make it happen. The first part is dissatisfaction. Block out some time this week to write down five things you're currently dissatisfied with in your personal and professional life. Now they have to be things you can control. After you make the list, I want you to ask yourself a critical thinking question.